Is this thing on? Hi. Some of you may know that I split my time between New York and Milwaukee, and it's been that way for the past few years. I've been spending a lot more time here with that writer strike going on, and the whole film industry was shut down. With all that time, I was able to get so many projects done around the house, like finishing the basement, which has been amazing. While I've been living my best life here in town, I've discovered some pretty awesome spots, so I thought it'd be cool to share them, so I'm starting a new series called My Milwaukee. There's definitely some little gems here, and I've met some really sweet business owners, and I want more people to know about it, so let's get into it. My favorite, my favorite coffee, coffee shop, shop, my favorite restaurant, my favorite vintage, 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 my favorite vintage, plant store, store. My, favorite my, favorite my, favorite my favorite restaurant, my favorite home goods, my store. favorite, my favorite plant, plant store. store. My Milwaukee. Okay, I just pulled up. I'm about to go meet with Eric, who owns one of my favorite vintage stores here in town called BC Modern. It's a vintage furniture store. Ben and I have bought so much stuff from there because Eric is a literal treasure hunter. He's got a cool store and a really cool van, and luckily enough, he's agreed to sit down and answer some of my questions. BC Modern is open once a month, and it is a literal event every time he opens his doors to the public. He spends the rest of his time sourcing all the goods, which is always changing from month to month. So yeah, with all that said, let's go meet Eric. Q&A. How long have you lived in Milwaukee? I have lived in Milwaukee my entire life, born and raised. What made you want to start BC Modern? I really was at a point in life where I just kind of wanted to do something that was more like passion driven versus just making money. And so at that point, when I wanted to start BC Modern or decided to start BC Modern, it was literally, I was just done buying and selling any and everything to make money. I just wanted to fill a store full of stuff that I personally like and hope that I could attract enough people that would actually like it too. That's really what, what made me start it. It was just the, I was just over buying and selling anything for profit. I wanted to just focus on the things that I liked and hope that I could make a living <laughs> by doing that. Best thing about being a business owner? I'm, I'm such a, a doer. I don't like to overthink things. So it's like, if I come up with an idea, I'll put it out there and see what happens. So just the, the ability to take something from A to Z really fast by myself is probably the best thing to me. Any find that got you super excited? I think my most exciting find is something that I really haven't even enjoyed that much as of yet because it's still being restored, but I found a, a 75 uh, Jaguar XJ6C, which is, I think there were only like less than 7,000 of these cars made. And I was at a home to buy the entire estate. And the brother says to the sister, oh, what are we gonna do with the car? I'm like, what car? When I go to the garage and I like my jaw just dropped. Uh, I've had a ton of classic cars over the years. I've sold a lot of classic cars, but uh, this was one that when I saw it, I'm like, yeah, this is, I gotta keep it. So that's right now, that's probably ranked up there pretty high. What design era is your favorite? Oh, of course, <laughs> mid-century is gonna be what inspires me. When I first started, I, I sold any and everything and in that time period, Victorian Eastlake was always so popular and that's what I would get good money for. But this is what I was drawn to. And so when it came time to, you know, transition from just, you know, doing things to make a living to, you know, finding something that actually became more of a passion and was enjoyable to go to work every day, hands down, I knew mid-century modern was going to be the direction that I was going to go because I was literally just drawn to it but I couldn't, you know, 20 years ago, this stuff was just, they were just giving it away because nobody wanted it. Everybody wanted Victorian and Eastlake, um, but it was always, it's always been my style. And even when I think back to like my, my dad's house or my grandma's house, this is the style that they had in their home and it was all around me, but I was a little kid and I wasn't paying enough attention to it then, but I, I think the influence was like planted, you know, way back then. So it's cool to see that now I can, you know, fill a space full of the things that actually I grew up with, basically. 
and you know, it's, it's, it's how I make my living. So it's pretty awesome. Any fun DIY projects going on at home? Yeah, so the, the next project that we're gonna do at home is my office. Uh, previously, it was an office that was designed for my wife because she was working from home. We redesigned the office for her workspace. And now that she's with me, that space is no longer needed for her. So I've transitioned it back into my eBay space. That is the this next space that I wanna renovate into, um, you know, it, it needs more of of the store kind of vibe. It needs more of the mid-century vibe, less of the office, you know, corporate industrial work vibe. You know, so I have my photo studio already there, but I need to build out all the other stuff around it to make it, uh, you know, fit into the rest of the house. So that's my next renovation. What do you love about this city? I love the fact that you can go like literally 20, 30 minutes any direction and it can change. You know, that's either good or bad. <laughs> but I love that part of it. You know, when I go out of the city and I find things, when I come back to Milwaukee, that's what I appreciate the most is, you know, I can literally go 20, 30 minutes in any direction and it changes. And I like that. I like that a lot. Milwaukee spot people should know about? I like Don's TV and Repair little speakeasy spot down in Walker's Point. And I don't know how many people actually know about it, but I think it's a very, very cool concept and the food's really good. Okay, no more questions. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for having me. I can go. No, thank you for having me. Seriously, um, it's a pleasure to be a part of something that you're putting together. You know, stop by. It's always the last weekend of every month that we're open. Uh, 10 to 4. Follow me on Instagram under BC Modern MKE. I run the business from there. I'm on YouTube also as Eric the Vintage Hunter. Have you ever had that thing where like somebody talks and it totally relaxes you? That's how Eric's voice is for me. If you live in Milwaukee already, I'm sure you know what BC Modern is, but hopefully this video gave you a little bit more insight into who he is. And if you don't live here, you should definitely check out his store if you're ever in town because you won't be disappointed. I would love to hear what you think about this new series. I have a bunch of places that I want to share, so if that'd be something you'd be into seeing, let me know so I can make more. Be sure to check out Eric's Instagram if you want to keep up with everything that he's doing. I'll also put his other info, like his website and things like that, in the description box below. Feel free to like this video if you want to show me and Eric some love. Subscribe if you want to do that as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> okay. <Okay>. So... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'm ready. Yeah, so I can do it now. Did you know that the 70s sitcom Laverne and Shirley was based here in Milwaukee? For the first five seasons, but then they moved to Burbank or something for the last three. If you didn't know that, now you do, and if you're still here watching, you rule.